Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's video is very simple and that is going to be about how to assign a shared learn in VMware ESXi environment. And currently I'm using two nodes here and those two are not running pacemaker cluster. So I have configured pacemaker cluster in this two node and to use or configure your Red Hat pacemaker cluster you need a shared LAN right so how to assign a shared LAN if you are using a uh, same VMware VMware environment and you probably wondering how to assign them so that is why I am going to show you how to assign a shared LAN in VMware environment okay so I hope this will help so for now this is my first node and if I just run PVS and you would be able to see there is one LAN which is called slash dev sdb and that is I already assigned it and if I do a crm underscore mon and you can see there is a resource group which I have created and this resource group is using this LAN right and if I do a vgs this is my vg and if I do uh, pvs here you can see this LAN is using by the data VG. So, I'm going to assign a new shared LAN in this two system RSCL01 and this is my 02. So, for now, if I do PBS, you can see this is the information, and again, if I do a PBS minus A minus O plus dev underscore size, you won't see any LAN here apart from what other LAN it is showing currently, and here it is showing the same thing right so in order to assign a shared LAN in VMware environment you cannot do it online so before assigning a LAN in this two node I need to make this system down so what I have to do I have to power it off so let me just quickly power off both of the system so this is my second node and this is 10 so now to assign a shared LAN, what I'll do, I'll just right click the system and I'll go to edit setting and here I'll do add and I will going to use hard disk and say next and I'm going to create a new virtual disk next and for this demo I'm going to use 2 GB of LAN and remember here you can see this provisioning type there are three types you would see thick provision lazy zeroed, thick provision eager zeroed and thin provisioning so you have to use the eager zeroed and here you can check uh, which data store you can use so for now I'm just going with the default one say next and this is the important part here in virtual device node you can see default it is use the SCSI 01 so now you can see there is one LAN I have already assigned which is in SCSI 1.0 and now new LAN which I am going to use and assign I am going to assign in SCSI 2.0 ok so I just select like this say next finish and ok so once I done that here you can see the status of my new LAN which I have just added to that VM it is currently creating and it is in progress basically if you use a eager john it takes a little time compared to the normal uh, LAN which you have created in VMware which is a VM DK type of LAN ok so now it is 75 percent completed and let this complete um, I believe in another 5 to 10 seconds it will going to finish so now it is 90% 92 and it is done so now it is completed so now what I have to do next step is again I have to right click to that system edit setting and here you can see there is one more new SCSI controller cam and this is a SCSI controller 2 so if you click on that you see there are three options first is none second is virtual and third one is physical so if you 
read this it says virtual disk can be shared between virtual machine of any service so I'm going to use this option and say ok so this is completed so now what I'm going to do I'm going to select the next node where I'm going to use the same LAN which I have created in 01 so I'll say edit settings and add and I will select hard disk next and instead of creating a new virtual disk I'm going to select an existing virtual disk next and in browse I'm going to select wherever my LAN is so this is not the one this is also not there and here in RSCL1 I can see there is one new LAN which is in 2 GB size I'm going to select the LAN which I have created in RSCL01 and select it here and you can see the information here and next and in this section I have to go again and select SCSI 2.0 so I have selected here and say next and finish ok so now my learn is added in node 2 and the next step is I have to go again to that server edit settings and SCSI controller 2 and I have to select this option ok so I am done so the virtual LAN uh, which I have just assigned on this 2 node with the size of 2 GB is added and it is shared between this 2 node so let me just power on both the system and it is powered on and it is in the process of booting up let me check the status for my node whether they have come up or not I just open a console for RSCL01 and I can see it is up and for node 2 and node 2 is also came up so I have taken a party session it's, it is actually not a party session I have taken a secure shell in my web browser and you can see this is my first node RSCL01 and this is my node 2 RSCL02 so if I do a PBS I still see the old one and here if I run PBS I can see the old one which is PB created already and that is why I can see under PBS command if I run PBS minus A minus O plus dev underscore size just to check the size as well I am specifying dev underscore size so now I can see there is one new LAN which is assigned to the system and with the size of 2 GB if I run this command in the first node I would be able to see the same information let me just run the same command here and you can able to see this is also running here so this is how we have to assign a shared LAN in VMware SXI environment so that you can use them whenever you are using clustering or H A environment thank you so much for watching my video in my coming videos what I am going to show you I am going to create a CLVMD primitive and resource in PCS cluster and I am going to create a CLVMD file system and I am going to show you how those works ok so Please subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed yet it is very important so that you do not miss any updates what are the videos I am uploading that may help you so that is very very important to subscribe so if you have not subscribed please subscribe my channel and also please like my video if you think this content is useful for you so okay so thank you so much for watching my videos have a good day.